welcome or welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. Uh, what I do know though is that hopefully you are watching this in black and white. This is the start of a three part collab uh, with my beautiful girly Anya. And it's a Sophia Nygaard's lipstick chooses my makeup collab. And now the colour that I am using today is Mrs. Norris. So, how did Mrs. Norris inspire my makeup look? You're just going to have to stay tuned to find out. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right, I will have told you in the intro, but this is a collab with my lovely girl Anya. If you hear that wind, we're currently experiencing Storm Sierra, which is quite amusing because my first two cars were Sierras. And, and and they were quick quick too, pretty fast. Um, kind of at the tail end of it. We're still getting the odd blustery bit. <laughs> yeah. So, if you hear wind in the background, I swear it's not me or the hubby. He's in his man cave at the bottom of the garden. I know. Uh, look, we know the man was mad. He had to be to marry me. Anyway, this is a club with my girly Anya, and we decided. We would do a collab based on our lipstick choosing our makeup. Now, oh, bear with me. Now, Sophia Nygaard did a collab with Colourpop. Now, there were six lipsticks in the collab. I would have loved to have bought all six, but yeah, funds just didn't stretch to that. It really didn't. So I got Bikini Bottom, Berry Minion Lipsticks and Mrs Norris. So, Anya got the full set of six. I'm so jealous. But anyway, keep it moving. Um, so we decided I would use the three that I've got, she would use the other three and we would each create different looks using the lipstick as inspiration. Now the one that I'm going to use today is Mrs Norris. Now for those of you who have not read Harry Potter, Mrs Norris is Filch the Caretaker's cat. He's a bit of a grumpy gum. But he loves his cat, so clearly there's there's something right with him somewhere. So we can either do our makeup look based on the name or the shade. <laughs> I love this. It's got bats on the outside of the canister. And it's got bats on the bullet. And as you can see, I haven't actually worn Mrs. Norris yet. I have worn Bikini Bottom and I have worn Berry Mean Lipsticks. So that's why I'm using Mrs. Norris first as my inspiration. Also, because I've got two other things I want to try out. I picked this Duo Liquid Eyeshadow thingy up from uh, AliExpress. It's by Smakeup. It's in shade 01. And it's basically a cream eyeshadow at one end and a glitter at the other. Now I know Revolution do this, but I think these are really based on the Huda ones. Um, I also picked up in Morphe's Sale their gel liner in a Stargazer, which I tried out last night. That went out to karaoke last night. 
um, and I really quite liked this because I don't know if it will show up on camera but it's actually got sparkles in the black and because were I at Hogwarts I would most definitely be a Hufflepuff student their colours are of course black and yellow so Mrs Norris being the cat from Hogwarts has inspired me to do a Hufflepuff look with these. It also gives me the chance to use three new products on screen in one film. Triple whammy. Boom. Uh, this is still a teaching channel. Bit of a learning curve for me. Cream shadows. Uh, <laughs> used cream shadows apart from like the, the face painty cream shadows that I used that Revolution did so this 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 uh, this this could be a this is gonna be a journey of discovery for all of us right now uh, I am in considerable pain because going out last night took all of yesterday's spoons and half of today's we still had to go and do the food shopping today, so I'm absolutely wiped. So I do apologise if my energy levels are lower than usual. But I need to go and get my nails done tomorrow. So I'm probably not going to have time to film, edit and get this uploaded in time for the first film going live. So because uh, of my pain levels and my uh, lack of spoons and the fact this is a teaching channel and I want even absolute beginners to be able to keep up with me there's a speed widget up there if I'm not going quickly enough for you speed me up I'm, I'm gonna sound like pinky and perky on acid but there we go right I'm gonna zoom you in I'm just going to cut a segment out so I might be wearing this top I might be wearing the blue top I don't know but it will be a segment that I've cut out and I'll put in here uh, and then I'll be zoomed in ready to start applying face is washed moisturized SPF and primed although why SPF it when it is dark as hell out there and I'm going nowhere after putting this on I genuinely don't know automatic reflex <sighs> here's the eye instruction when I come back very close actually the eye instruction very close d d d don't let it frighten you now um, my eyes have this primer on it this is the Crime Pebble Primer in Blank Page Cotton. I do have a discount code for this. It is not affiliated. I don't earn money from it. But if you use my code, you save, I think it's 15%. And I earn pebbles that I can offset against future purchases from them. The reason I love the Crime Pebble Primer is because it's... It goes on like a cream, but it has a powdery finish. So unlike when you use a concealer or like a MAC paint pot, for example, you have the trade-off between do I set it so I can blend easily or do I leave it tacky so that I get the full impact of colour. You don't have that trade-off with this. You can blend on it instantly and you don't lose any of the colour. Now she does six different shades of this at the moment. White is the lightest, the deepest two are a chocolate brown and a black. Then there are three different skin tone shades as well, so you should be able to find one that will work for you. Um, I apply this with a flat brush. Just a very light layer. And then I buff it over with a fluffy blending brush take any excess off and to make sure I've got a nice even layer across the eye. Now I've got deep set eyes 
So I get the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease, I have to cut onto the upper lid, not just through the socket. And if I'm using glitter, even with glitter glue, I get a bare patch in the middle. Because people with hooded lids get the same symptoms as people with deep set eyes, I see a lot of people with deep set eyes thinking they have hooded lids when they don't. So they follow the guidelines for hooded lids and wonder why their eyes still don't look right. So, I'm going to explain very easily for you how to tell the difference and what the two workarounds are. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if this upper lid comes down and completely covers part or all of the mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demonstrate on this eye deep set eyes because this is the eye that I'm blind in so I'll stay on screen and in focus. If I cover a visible mobile lid and close my eye you can see I've got as much, if not more, lid that tucks back away out of sight. And if I do the same on the top lid, the static lid, you can see I've got about the same amount of lid again that tucks back away out of sight when the eyes open. And it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me the same issues that hooded lids get. So. What are the workarounds? If you have hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush. Sketch out on your static lid where you want your new crease to fall. Now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the crease and the brow. So just use smaller blending brushes, or if necessary, take the colour right up to the brow, instead of leaving a gap. If you have deep set eyes like myself, all we need to do when we're putting the colour through the crease, which nine times out of ten will be the deepest colour that we're using. Just sit back, relax your brows and make sure you've brought it up high enough that you can see it when your eyes are open. So, two very different workarounds for two very different types of lids but that have very similar issues. Hello, I am back. Let's give this a go. I think what I'm going to do initially is I'm just going to whack this on and then I'm going to try blending it out. This is a Morphe M139. It's quite a medium dense, densely packed but quite loose still blending brush. It's not as it's not as fat as my usual blending brush that I start with, but likewise it's not compact like the one that I use through the crease. It's kind of halfway between the two. So, let's investigate. Ooh. Okay, it's got like a, to be honest, like a concealer doe foot. So, uh, let's just bung some of this on the eyeball, I guess. Genuinely don't know how much to put on or how long I've got to blend this out. So I'll do that and I'm going to start blending. Can't see a damn thing, relying on muscle memory. Uh, blind in this eye, in case I didn't say that bit in the talk though. Okay, this is actually blending out quite nicely. I'm just my usual circular and I'm holding the brush right at the end like I always do and I'm just gently blending it up the eye uh, I don't know whether this is going to crease on me I'm expecting it to with a cream shadow and deep set eyes but we will see, that was ridiculously easy So, Anya, if you don't know her, really, where have you 
been, I've been living under a rock. She is, well, long term viewers will know her because I've collabed with her on many occasions, both individually, in big group collabs. That's interesting because now you can see how much the colour blends out. I'm guessing you could build it up to this depth of shade, but you would probably end up with it creasing on you because you'd have to have it really, really thick. Um, anyway, um, like I said, we've collabed in big group collabs, we've collabed individually, we've collabed as part of the Bitches of Eastwick, we've collabed as the Triple A uh, girls. And she is one of my closest friends on YouTube. And I'm so proud to call her one of my friends. She is the... She's the collab queen of YouTube. She really is. Um, I'm just going to wipe this off on um, a, a tissue with some micellar water on. Because it's a cream shadow. I want to get the majority of it out of the, the brush. And then I'll wipe it on my... Um, clean washcloth just to dry it. But let me get a little mirror. I just want to see whether that is actually. Yeah, it has creased already through there, as you can see. That really doesn't surprise me at all. But. The design that I'm doing, it shouldn't really be too much of an issue, I hope. Fingers crossed anyway. Right. Uh, now shall I shove the glittery end on first or do the liner? No, I think I'm going to do my graphic liner first because... Well, if I do that, I'm then going to have issues. Right. I'm going to pause you, I'm going to bung some foundation and stuff on, and I'll be back to continue with this eye look. Instant for you, no waiting at all. See you right now. Okay, I am back. And, uh, yeah. This is definitely, as you can see, creased through there. Not as bad this side, but definitely you'd, you'd probably want to touch that up a little bit. Right, now, regular viewers will know that I like using little artist brushes when it comes to doing liner because I think it gives you a lot more control especially when you want to do tiny little lines which is what I'm hoping for this time because I'm hoping to do something a little bit graphic now this is a size 5 slash O I'm guessing to a painter that means something uh, but it's the finest little brush that I have now, I will whitter to you a little bit about Anya, but then I might shut up and just put some music on so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to look into a mirror here, so that hopefully I stay on screen with you there. I wonder if I can tilt you down just slightly. There we go. Right. Wish me luck. Just kind of marking where I can then see it when my eyes open. Excellent. So, Anya, she is the queen of collabs. She will collab. If she thinks you are a nice person and she likes your personality, you could have three subscribers 
and she would collab with you. Unlike some larger channels who follow the old 30% rule and basically if you're not big enough to help them they don't want to know. Despite the fact that they were probably given a leg up by channels when they were smaller. They just don't want to know. Anya is absolutely nothing like that. Um, she is such a giving person of her time, of her experience. You know, she... She's what the beauty community should be, you know. And it's what the smaller beauty community still is. Um, and I'm absolutely so proud to call him my friend. Right. I really don't need to concentrate now, folks. So I'm going to shut up and put some music on. Or is it beauty con? I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy Looking flawless with my beauty guru family It's so perfect and my time is not a beauty guru life So if you like this video then please subscribe Got my champagne box also use my code for the sprottles If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade I'll be snapping out with Nikki in the ocean shade Jacqueline, we're on a jet, waiting for my face to set Classy, girl, let's collab, Lily lashes looking fab Redman, we're fucking stars, vlogging in our matching cars Jackie, this gloss is fruity, see you sisters, Agent Beauty I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy Looking flawless with my beauty guru family It's so perfect and my time is not a beauty guru life So if you like this video then please subscribe If it ain't nothing I can go on a support free If I shout you out I think I'd break your social blade Social blade, social blade I think I'd break your social blade It ain't nothing, nothing, nothing Social, social, social blade If I shout you out
and shoot, but you know it's gonna be for a fee. Jeffrey, snap a pic, open PR packages. Laura, I love that lash. Sponsored post, yet I need cash. Manny, we're looking hot. House is full of shit I bought. Nikita, we'll turn you on. See you whores at Beauty Con. I've been living out yeah, my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect and my time has got a beauty guru eye. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. Got my champagne bob, keep it stocked up. You can also use my code for the sprout. If I shut you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. I'll be snapping out with Nikki in the ocean shade. Jacqueline, we're on a jet, waiting for my face to set. Classy, girl, let's collab. Lily Lash is looking fab. Redman, we're fucking stars. Vlogging in our matching cars. Jackie, this gloss is fruity. See you, sisters, Agen Beauty. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect and my time has got a beauty guru life. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. If it ain't nothing, I can go on a support free. If I shut you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. Social blade, social blade. Beauty Guru family It's so 
perfect in my time, I spot a beauty blue eye. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect in my time, I spot a beauty blue eye. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. If I shut you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. Or is it beauty con? I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy Looking forward with my beauty guru family It's so perfect in my time I saw the beauty guru I Right I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different each side Partly because I know most people are not going to do this kind of a graphic liner and want to go out like it. Um, I did it because I wanted it to kind of imitate Forks, the uh, phoenix that's in Dumbledore's office. So I kind of wanted it to be an abstract version of his tail. And then over on this side, I wanted to do an ordinary graphic liner, you know, wing liner. And then thought I'd have a go at doing a cat's nose with whiskers, but mm, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a Jackson Pollock, we'll call it out, I think. Um, <laughs> and then I've got this slightly larger. This is a... Two zero, not a five zero. And what I'm going to do with this is just take some of the gold sparkles off of here and use it to accent over here and just filling bits now obviously you're not going to necessarily going to want to do this when you're going out which I totally understand but I felt like having fun with makeup and when's the best time to have fun with makeup when you haven't got to go anywhere Size which is Harry Potter, it's a world of wonder and magic and sparkle and so let's all sparkle. Just wanting to accent. bits of it on this eye, like so, and then I might have a bit of a go on this eye, I'm just popping a little bit more on, and just spreading it out with the finer point of the brush. So obviously if you left the cat off and just did the black wing liner and then popped some of this creamy glittery 
part on your mobile lid or the area that you create as a mobile lid and obviously that would work for a night out so it's kind of I'm having a play with makeup but I'm still giving you a look that you could actually wear although you know me I'd do both eyes like this and go out like it People around here are used to seeing me doing strange stuff and going out wearing God knows what. So, and you're not expecting this. <laughs> right. Um, am I going to put any yellow underneath? Um, yeah, I might pop a little bit under there. Let me just grab a pencil brush. This was from a Morphe Christmas set. So I'm going into the creamy side again. Just going to pick some up on the brush. And just really gently, just buff it along the lower lash line really. sides obviously it's the first time I've tried gel liner I quite like it you uh, you have longer to work with it before it starts to dry down so it gives you the option of doing more wafty things. And what I might do is pop a little bit of the sparkly side. Just right in the corner. Because, oh, well, not really. Hmm. Right, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to put some of the Mrs. Norris lipstick on. I'm going to do something with my hair. Chuck some highlighter over my face and I'll be back with my finished look. I am back. Uh, I added some cat ears because I felt it just made it look more like a cat than a spider. Um, I went for my I Heart Revolution pineapple highlighter, continuing with the yellow theme and uh, the Blowout Cannabis Sativa Mascara and of course Mrs Norris on the lips. So this is my my lipstick chose my makeup. Mrs Norris version. What do you think? Do you like? What would you have done? If you were doing a look based off of Mrs. Norris, would you have gone for the name like I did and done something Hogwartsy? Would you have gone down the cat route? Or would you have based it more on the colour of the lipstick? Let me know. I would love, 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 love to hear how you would have interpreted it if you were doing this collab with me. Right. If you're one of my 4F babies, please double check you are still subscribed because YouTube is still doing that lobbing people off thing. That sounds so rude. But once you have done that, please go across to Anya's channel, check out her film. 
give her a like, drop her a comment, let her know you're here from the 4F family, subscribe to her if you haven't done already, and just show her the same kind of love and support that you always show me in my comment section. Now if you're here from Anya's channel, hi, hello, welcome, I'm not always this mad, sometimes I'm worse, let's be honest, usually I'm worse. Uh, but if you've made it this far through the film, I'm guessing you must have enjoyed something. Uh, so it would be awesome if you too would like to hit that subscribe button and join the notification squad. Of course you do have to ring the bell and, and then say you want all notifications. And then maybe YouTube will tell you one out of four films that I put up. Speaking of which, there are an awful lot of films of mine that you can sit there and watch. Basically, pick a playlist, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, and indulge. Right, my darlings, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.